All right, here we go. Episode one of our Oathsworn series. We're going to break up the monotony. We're going to paint some houses. We're going to do two different schemes, a classical scheme, then I'm going to call it the World of Warcraft scheme. So choose which one you like. Been a little bit of hiatus, but I am back, and we are going to be continuing going forward. As always, first off, I want to thank the YouTube members for all of your awesome, awesome donations. You guys are awesome. Can't thank you guys enough. It really drives me to do more and more and more. If this is your first time at the channel, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Or if you're a returning person who's watched this before, hit it. Hit it hard. You don't want to miss out on future videos because we're going to keep cranking them out. So, pretty easy, nothing too crazy, follow along, and let's go. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scrape off those mold lines on there. There's not too many, but there is a couple on the chimney and on the top portion of it. If you need any supplies, check those supplies in the links below. Once you're done with that, we're going to hit everything in black primer. Now I'm using an airbrush, but you can also use spray paint if you want. Nothing says you can't use it. I just prefer airbrush. We're going to do a series of dry brush to really prime this up. This is the key component of making this look fantastic. We're going to use some Ushab Bone, and we're going to use this all over. I'm using a giant makeup brush. These are fantastic for doing large surface areas of dry brushing, almost a necessity. And it's basically something you need in your life if you want to do something like this on the terrain. Because if you have a small dry brush, it ain't going to work. So we're going to dry brush this entire area getting as much as we can, creating that nice dark and light tone on the dry brush. Next, we are going to use some pure white and we're really working this on the top portion of each roof and our rocky area really to break that up. We're going to go with house number one first. This is our basic looking house. And we're going to use our first color. And we're going to only be using contrast colors. That is our key to making this house easy and look fantastic. And we're going to use some rattling grime. Next, for all of our wood areas, we're going to use some snake bite leather. It gives it that cabin in the woods feel. I know you can see that green moss up on top. We're going to cover that here in a second, so don't start jumping ahead. For our chimney, we're going to use our basic reddish type color, and we're going to use some Gilliman Flesh. For 
For all of our rocks on the bottom portion, we're going to use some basilicanum gray. And this is the color I went with for all the green moss. You don't necessarily need to do this. You can use several others um, if you want to go with something less bright. But I went with the Mantis Warriors Green. A very bright looking moss as if we're in the middle of the woods over in the Pacific Northwest or something. And that moss really pops out. Looks fantastic. And finally, for our little door handle, we're going to use some Mechanicus Standard Gray. Now, that's going to end it for house number one. Super easy, right? The dry brush really takes care of the highlights that we don't need to do anymore. Looks fantastic. You didn't need to do much. Really good. Alright, starting with house number two, we're going to go with that World of Warcraft, Goldshire, Elwyn Forest. We're going to start with some Ultramarines Blue. We're going to put this all over the roof area. Just be careful not to get it onto the mossy areas. Next, we're going to use some Sigor Bound on all of our wood plank areas. So the top of the roof and all of our cross areas, like the support beams on a house, basically. Next, we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to use this on the wood siding of the house, front door, sides, just everything that's not the beams, basically. For our chimney, we're going to use some Griff Charger again. Give you that nice little bluish gray look on our chimney. Now just to break up the monotony a little bit, we're going to start again with our Mantis Warriors Green on our house. We're also going to use a different color though. Now 
We're going to throw in some Plague Bearers Flush as well for that green. And then we're going to kind of throw in, while this stuff is still drying, a little bit of color to break it up. We're going to use some Griff Hound Orange, and we're going to throw those in extra little places. Give it that nice fall look. Extra little snidbit to make it a little bit more fancy. Once you're satisfied with your fall looks, we're going to use some lead belcher on the door handle. And that's it. We are done. Two houses done. Nothing crazy. And look how good those turned out. Probably didn't think you could make it look that good that easily, but it is that simple, folks. Nothing too crazy. Those contrast paints are your friend. They were hated on at first, but they do have their purpose. I just want to say thank you for everyone for watching the channel, for supporting me, supporting Nerd Nights, all your donations, all your time you spend watching this and leaving comments. So until the next one, paint on.